Studies show that roughly 80% of Americans believe in heaven. 70% believe in hell. The question about the afterlife is one of the eternal, one with eternal consequences, and like it or not, one that everyone ultimately has to face. So we sent Scott Ross to our nation's capital to find out who believes what and why. Quick question. Do you believe in hell? Absolutely. Anybody ever tell you to go there? <laughs> Many times. <laughs> they have? Oh, sure. Anyone ever told you to go to hell? Not that I can recall. Oh, really? I probably tried to block those memories out. <laughs> do you believe there's an afterlife? Uh, if I believe there's an afterlife, yeah. and yes, I do believe there's an you afterlife, do? yes. What do you believe about it? I believe that everybody reincarnates on something. Really? Yeah. You're yeah. going to come back as a butterfly or a cow? As or? anything, but you'll come back. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Where'd you get that idea? Uh, I guess, uh, you know, TV, but, you know, TV you know all this other you stuff. TV there's an afterlife and you believe it? Yeah, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not really sure what I believe in the afterlife. I'm just going to try to live my life the best I can now. Think there's and, consequences uh, afterwards? Or? Probably. I like to think so. <laughs> yeah. I, like, I like to think karma will come around and get those who deserve it. Oh, really? You know, give, give, give good to those who deserve good and those who uh, are jerks their whole life, maybe they'll... Uh, you know, which one are you? <laughs> I can be a little both. <laughs> I mean, there is a heaven, there is a hell. There is? You believe that? I do believe it, but why do you to an extent. It? Why do you believe it? Extent, I don't know why I believe it. Do you believe in heaven? Yes, sir. You believe in hell? Both are there, like ups and downs. Yeah. Yeah? So oh, I just want up, not the down. <laughs> <laughs> How do you avoid the down part? Being good with uh, people and. Be happy. Be happy and be good. There's all kinds of religions around, and they all believe in, many of them, in God. Right. All right, and they all believe they're destined to be with God. Sure. How about that? Well, unfortunately, they can't all be truth. And when Christ said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, no one comes to the Father but by me, it's kind of... But you believe uh, that there's uh, heaven, hell? Well, I, yeah, I guess you can't believe in one without believing in the other. Well, what does Jesus have to say about heaven and hell? Because people are asking that question. He gave a parable that's found in the book of Luke, chapter 16, verses 19 to 31. And he said this, there was a rich man. He dressed sumptuously and he fed on the finest food. And there was a poor beggar who had sores, and the dogs licked his sores. And this guy would have done anything just to eat the scraps that fell off that rich man's table. His name was Lazarus. And the Bible says that Lazarus died. And he was carried by the angels to what was called Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. Didn't say anything about angels. He was just buried. In Hades, Jesus said, he lifted up his eyes and he was in torment and he saw Abraham far away and Lazarus in his bosom. And he said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus so he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue for I'm in agony in this flame. But Abraham said, child, you remember that during your life you received good things and likewise Lazarus bad things, but now he's being comforted and you're in agony. And besides all this is between us a great gulf fix so that those who wish to come over from here to you will not be able and that none may cross over from there to us. Now, what does Jesus say? He was tormented in flame. And when you read the Bible over and over again, Hell is portrayed as a lake of burning fire where people are tormented forever. It is the most horrible thing, and it says they're tormented forever and ever and ever, and there seems to be no end because spirits can't die. And that's what hell is like. And hell was prepared for the devil and his angels, but those who wish to embrace the devil and share his uh, lifestyle, if you will, Go where God intended the devil to go. And this man, uh, the uh, rich man, said, Father Abraham, please, please uh, send somebody. Send, uh, 
somebody to my father's house. I've got five brothers, and I need to warn them so that they won't come to this place of torment. But Abraham said, they've got Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. And he says, no, but if somebody goes to them from the dead, they will repent. And Abraham said, if they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, they will not be persuaded even if somebody rises from the dead. Now, we're going to be introducing you to people who have had an experience of going to hell and coming back, going to heaven, coming back. They're going to be first-hand uh, first accounts. But Jesus said, if you won't listen to the Bible, you won't necessarily listen to somebody who's raised from the dead. But we're going to have people on this program day after day who've had the experience. I want you to listen, because the horrible thing about hell is it goes on forever, and there's no end. And I was thinking, why doesn't God just kill them? Well, that's just the way it is. For those who, who the unbeliever, the ungodly, the fornicators, the sorcerers, and everybody who tells lies, they're going to wind up in a lake of fire, and they're going to be tormented forever. That's a horrible prospect. There's no end, no way out, no parole, none of that. And Jesus talked about somebody being tormented in flames. You say, well, Jesus is somebody who preached love. Yes, he did. But he also told about heaven. He told about hell.